All right, today's experiment, the Sock Lab, as we've, uh, you've probably already heard the exciting news. Today, you get to walk and drop socks. This is a wonderful opportunity to lose the socks of someone else in your family. So let's take advantage. All right, so here's what we're going to do. The image that you see on the screen right here represents a sidewalk. So I did this experiment. I did it in front of my house, and I used the sidewalk. Well, to do this experiment, you need to create an imaginary number line. You're not literally going to create a line, but you're going to create uh, some markers along an imaginary line. And so if you have a number line, you know you need an origin. So you're going to pick a spot in the location where you're going to do this, a sidewalk, a long hallway, um, if you're in an apartment complex, a large room, um, that has enough space about 27 feet or so to move. You're going to pick a spot and you're going to define the origin. Then you're going to use the measuring tape that came in your lab bag and every half meter, which is every 50 centimeters, every 50 centimeters, which is a half meter, you're going to put a marker down. This could be a little piece of paper that you cut out that has the value. It could be another physical marker that will not move. So you measure it out. Now in my drawing here, I only went up to a positive five meters. You're going to need to measure up to eight meters at least um, in the positive direction. So your origin should be uh, in a position to where you have at least eight meters, which is a little bit more than 24 feet to move in one direction. Now that's the positive direction, so we also want to add a little bit of uh, a couple position markers in the negative direction in case you end up going that way during your experiment. So we go negative half a meter and negative one meter in the negative direction. So we've created our markers. The, so for motion one, we are going to start at zero meters, that's where the star is. We're going to move in a positive direction, and we're going to move slow. Um, so one thing that you're going to need to do is you're going to need to pull up the metronome, just Google metronome, and pull it up and put it at 60 beats per minute. That will be one beat per second. You can get that metronome, say, on a phone or some device, any device where you're going to have that device around you while you're doing this experiment so that you can hear it. The metronome is going to be your timer. So what you're going to do here is you're going to drop a sock. So you're going to turn the metronome on. You're going to start moving on a beat. And you're going to drop a sock every two seconds. Now, in this experiment, slow, when it says move slow, means really slow. So you're going to drop a sock every two seconds. So let's do this example. You start moving, you drop a sock, two seconds later you drop another sock, two seconds later another sock, and so on. So you've dropped a number of socks. Note that you see nine socks have been dropped here. Uh, drop at least eight socks, at least eight socks. All right, so once you've uh, dropped your socks, notice something. The space between each sock looks relatively consistent. So if you drop your socks and they look like they're all over the place and they're, they're not consistently spread out, then redo it. Don't take time measuring stuff until the socks are spread out relatively evenly. It's not going to be perfect, but you get the idea. So here we go. We uh, have a, some good sock positioning, so we need to collect our data. So at time zero, you see that circled right there. At time zero, you're at the origin, which is position zero. At time two seconds, you dropped your first sock, and that was at in this example, half a meter. At time four seconds, in this example, it was at one meter, six seconds, eight seconds, and so on. So you've recorded all of your position data for, uh, for motion one. Now, 
a couple things to pause and look at in terms of sock positioning. Uh, right here, uh, I've zoomed in, and let's say that you know you drop the socks; they're not all going to be in the same orientation. They'll be in different directions. So let's say that you have socks like this. Well, you need to pick a common spot on a sock to med to record position. So I like to say, let's take the halfway point of the sock. So the halfway point of this sock is midway between 0.5 and 1 meters. So I'm going to say that that's roughly 1.25 meters. We're not seeking perfection here. Um, now, this other sock, if I take the midpoint, it's not quite 1.5. It's beyond the midpoints. It's beyond 1.25. So I'm just going to say I think this is roughly 1.4. I can't really get more accurate than that because I don't, my scale is not more accurate than that. Okay. I would record that position like. All right. Now for motion two, uh, this time you're going to start at eight meters, eight meters, and you're going to move in the negative direction, moving slow or really slow. Basically, at the same pace that you moved for motion one, you're just starting at a different place and moving in a different direction. And then for motion three, you're going to start this time at two meters where you see the star, move in the positive direction, but this time you're gonna move faster. Now, when we say faster, that doesn't mean fast, that just means faster than really slow. Uh, and again, here, you're gonna drop a sock every two seconds. Now, I did this experiment uh, myself in the sidewalk in front of my house. So you see on the left, uh, I've created my number line, and I put this little object here to mark the origin. And then I dropped socks. Um, you see uh, my kids' socks that I dropped. Um, and uh, then this is an image of I then took went next to each sock, and I figured out what its position was on my number line. Uh, that's it. Good luck with your lab.